hey traders welcome back to another very important video and today in this video we're going to talk about how you can detect the engulfing candlestick patterns on chart using client script so let's get started so first of all we need to take the user input so let's just go ahead and define our user input section and the only input that we're going to need for this script is going to be the body size so we're going to go ahead and say body size and here we're going to go ahead and take input of input.float and inside here the title is going to be maximum body size or minimum body size in this case minimum body size and the default value yeah, value is going to be 0.6 percent or 60 percent so this is our input now let's just go ahead and take the make the do the calculation so in our case we're going to go ahead and need uh do the calculation for body percentage so we're going to go ahead and say body percentage is equal to math dot abs and we're going to need the open minus close and another thing will be high minus low so this would be our body percentage and now let's just go ahead and define our condition so is engulfing and let me just go ahead and say the conditions would be that this next candle in if you know about engulfing candle the conditions are this next candle should totally engulf the body of this previous candle so our conditions are going to be high of one is less than current bars high and low of one is greater than current bars low. And another thing that we need to check is the candle that is engulfing this previous candle, for example, in this case here, this candle's body should be greater than 60% or whatever we define in the settings. So let's just go ahead and put this condition as well. So we're going to go ahead and say body percentage is greater than body size, the maximum body size that we have taken as input. Now, these are all the conditions that we're going to use. And then if that is true, we want to plot a shape. So we're going to go ahead and say plot shape. And the condition is, is engulfing. And the shape is going to be, or in this case, the shape is going to be shape dot X cross and let me go ahead and start a shape we need to define the style so let me just go ahead and save it and now let me add it to a chart so this one here right there we can see is a valid engulfing candle now we have determined the engulfing candles onto the chart but we still need to make the differentiation between the bullish and bearish engulfing candles. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and change our conditions a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and say is bullish engulfing. And the conditions are going to remain the same. Only we're gonna add another condition because if the candle is bullish, the latest candle should have a uh, open that is less than its close. So we're gonna say open is less than the close in case of bullish engulfing and I'm just go ahead and check this here. Copy and here is bearing engulfing. Everything is going to remain the same. Only thing that we're going to change is open should be greater than the close. And here we're going to go ahead and say is bullish engulfing. And the color is going to be just go ahead and remove this L. And the color is going to be color dot green and in this case here location is going to be location dot below bar so these are for our bullish counts let me just go ahead and put a comma there and or copy this and paste it here now our condition is going to change so we're going to say is beer and here this color is going to change to red and 
this is going to be above bound. So let's go ahead and save it. And as you can see, all these are bearish engulfing candles. That's why we are seeing X, red X above bar. And this one is the bullish engulfing. That's one why we are seeing this green X below bar. You can go ahead and add more filters as well as you want. For example, you can go ahead and use the filter of moving averages or RSI or any confluence that you want to add. So I hope you were able to understand how you can simply define your own engulfing candles and how you can add filters to the script. I hope you were able to understand this. And if you have, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like, share, and see you in the next video. Thank you.